All new at 10 o'clock, this local band pictured right next to us is trying to recover tonight after their instruments were stolen just days before they were set to perform. Yeah, that gear worth thousands getting grabbed near 35th and Columbine just outside of a garage where they practice. Fox 31's Greg Nieto talking to that band about it. He joins us live with the details, Craig. Hey there, yeah, they're very good. Uh, they're a pop group and they actually, you know, as you might imagine, rehearse or practice a couple times a week as you described. They've taken out their gear and their instruments, uh, someone apparently paying attention. And while the uh, thieves were able to steal their gear, the group says you can't steal our vibe. As we begin our interview with Sarah Christine, it's clear they prefer to stay in tune with life's ups and downs. Positive vibes. Absolutely. Let's find these what, thieves, the crime? Uh, you know, the... they probably needed it more than us. Lead singer Sarah Christine Kotner and drummer Michael Dravecki say recently the pop group Sarah Christine If you like artists like Halsey, Taylor Swift had instruments and gear stolen as they prepared to practice near 35th and Columbine. We're talking drum kit, we're talking speakers, we're talking everything. The timing couldn't be any worse as the Denver-based group continues to climb the charts. Basically all that money that we had saved up to allocate for a very exciting upcoming tour for our album Hotel Earth is now going to go to um, all of our equipment again. With a concert date fast approaching, On your door, while you're holding me. they, more than most, know the show must go on. We've got our ducks in a row, we'll be okay. Mm -hmm. um, we're super excited for what's coming, but we just don't want this to happen to other people because some artists, if they were to have this taken from them, they'd be done. They say timing is everything, right? This is tough timing for the group, but again, they are going to press on, push on. They not only have a tour that's on the horizon, their next uh, date here in Denver is August the 5th. They're also releasing a new album. They also have the community behind them. They've actually established a GoFundMe page. We have a link on our website at kdvr.com. Greg Nantel, Fox 31.